Hello, everyone. My name is Dr. Shelley Carter, and I just wanted to provide you with a quick overview of our course STEM 185. This is the history and context of STEM. Before we begin that overview, let me make an important note. I am one of the course designers for this course. I am not necessarily your instructor. So this video is just meant to give you the big picture of what STEM 185 is about, and you will get individual instruction and guidance from your live course instructor. Without further ado, then let us proceed and discuss this course. So STEM 185 is really meant to talk about the origins of each of the STEM fields and importantly how they interacted and how they changed over time. We don't want to talk about these from just a purely historical timeline stance though, you know, X happened and then Y happened and Y and X combined led us to Z. Instead, we want to talk about how STEM has influenced society and how society and society's needs influence the development of STEM because it's definitely an interconnected cycle. We also want to do everything we can to give recognition to the roles and the participants from underrepresented populations. Historically, when we have talked about the history of STEM, we tend to focus on the accomplishments of what we'll call, you know, the old white man. Um, but we're going to see through the course of this class that there's a lot of contribution from non-Western individuals, from non-male individuals, and in particular from um, a whole host of unsung heroes in the history and context of STEM. There are quite a few course outcomes. I'm not going to go through these in ind individually. I just want to emphasize that what you're doing is really trying to understand how STEM got to what it is today. Um, the different aspects of STEM, the practice of STEM, the mindset of STEM. Um, you will work to develop a timeline over the course of this class, but you will also be focused on, again, those events in context of society, and also focused on that contribution of those underrepresented populations. So really in this course, what is not as important is what happened when, but why did it happen that way? And to the extent that we can determine that now. We want to understand that connection between STEM and society, and we want to consider the question of, and then what happened? So as one field led to another, then what happened? And I've already mentioned that important piece of giving voice to those characters who are often not mentioned in the history of STEM. Um, what you need to know, there are no prerequisites for this course. There is no history knowledge required, it's just a willingness to learn where you will go. This course may be a general education course for you, but it is extremely relevant for both STEM and non-STEM majors, and we do hope to see you in the future in some other STEM courses focused on the intersection of STEM and society. And thank you very much, and welcome to the class.